Salam Salam, Happy and Kutatash. So we're back again today. We're gonna be talking about Happy and Kutatash or Happy Ethiopian New Year's to all my Ethiopian people out there and my Eritreans. Yo, Happy New Year's Ethiopians. Happy New Year's. Yo, I wish I had something to throw or something, but Happy New Year's. And today we're gonna be talking about it. Um, Today is a very exciting day. I might go somewhere for the New Year's because, hey man, I'm part of the community. I'm a Pan-African, so y'all are gonna have to invite me and let me go somewhere with you guys. But today we're gonna be talking about New Year's. Happy New Year's once again. And uh, to all my people, I hope you enjoy it and be safe before I get into it. Today we're gonna start off with a little bit of history about it. And then we're going to say Happy Ethiopian New Year's and I'm gonna let you be on your way. So today we're gonna talk about a little bit of it, uh, history of it because a lot of people probably don't even know, but we're gonna be talking about it. So. Uh, you know, in Kutatash is the name of the Ethiopian New Year and means gifts of jewels. And this is in the American language. And the story goes back uh, almost 3,000 years ago to the Queen of Sheba of ancient Ethiopia and Yemen. And she had went on a trip uh, to visit King Solomon and um, King Solomon of Israel in Jerusalem. And this is mentioned also in the Bible as well. And she had uh, gifted Solomon with 4.5 tons of gold. Yes, 4.5 tons of gold. That's a lot of gold. Your girl was balling. 4.5 tons of gold and as well as a large amount of unique spices and jewels as well. And when the queen returned to Ethiopia, her chiefs welcomed her with uh, jewels to replenish her treasury or her treasure that she had just gave to King Solomon. So the celebration is both religious and secular with the day beginning with the church service followed by the family meal at the end of the day. And the young children will receive small gifts of money or bread. And after the gifts gather flowers uh, and sing, the women or the girls gather flowers and sing and families visit uh, friends and drink Ethiopian now, beer. Now the Ethiopian calendar is a unique form of Coptic calendar. And on September 12th, 2007, Ethiopia celebrated its bimillennial or 2000 years from the Annunciation of Christ. So why is this calendar? I know a lot of people I even didn't understand, didn't know, but we have to ask ourselves, or we always ask ourselves probably in our brains when we, you know, say in America or the Western world is 2015, Ethiopia is 2000, you know, and eight or whatever year it might be, whether it be in the future you're watching this or in the past, well, not in the past, but you get what I'm saying. Um, you know, why is their calendar, why is the Ethiopian calendar seven to eight years different from the West uh, Gregorian calendar, which is what the Western world follows? And in the West, the calendar was calculated around AD uh, 525 by a Roman monk, uh, mathematician, astronomer. And when she started with uh, Christ, you know, day of birth or birthday and in the east it was calculated differently and that's why ethiopia is on a different year than the western world so you know um the holiday is is gaining steam in the united states and in the western world and one group who kick-started uh this was the ethiopian african millennium uh, millennium group back in 2007 and this effort is to promote holiday uh you know holiday wishes and joys and to promote Ethiopian culture to the world and uh, as far as the New Year's as well and this effort to promote the holiday was sponsored by the Starbucks coffee company and the African American Civil War Museum as 30 people came to the Washington Monument in Washington DC so to all my Ethiopians yo, you know I'm African American so yo my people our people, we linked up, we helped each other out, and we're gonna get it moving. Now, the biggest populations are in DC, Washington, for anybody that didn't know that, the Ethiopian Eritrean communities, that's the biggest population, but there's also uh, big populations um, in Columbus, Ohio, uh, San Jose, Seattle, I think some in LA, somewhere around there, but these, also these cities celebrate, or a lot of people in these cities of um, Ethiopian Eritrean descent, celebrate the new years um and you know it is a very very exciting holiday i mean i don't get excited man come on guys like you know it's ethiopian new years man you got to understand that it's ethiopian new years man and i want to say a couple things before i go on this ethiopian new years please my people to all my black people you know let's try not to have any bad things happen let's try to have positive it's a new year it's ethiopian new years let's try to keep it positive let's um Let's bring in the spring. As I didn't say, I don't think I said to us in the Western world, it's about to be fall for the most part. I mean, you know, your fall might be a little different if you live in like Florida or Miami area or, you know, the South of America, your fall is probably gonna be still like how summer would be here, I guess. But 
Um, it's going to be fall, but in Ethiopia, it's the spring. This is bringing in the new spring uh, 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 season. So therefore, you know, usually somebody would bring a, you know, flower to someone's home and welcome in the new spring uh, season. So as spring comes along in Ethiopia, we're going to celebrate uh, you know, Ethiopian New Year's, your happy New Year's, your happy New Year's, your happy New Year's, your happy New Year's. So this is all for me. I'm not going to say Happy New Year's again. Actually, I'm lying. Happy New Year's again. And we're going to kick it off right. And to all my uh, peoples that are watching this right now, yo, Happy New Year's, man. I mean, what can I say? Like, I hope somebody comes and knocks on my, let's not. You hear that? I hope somebody comes and knocks on my door and gives me a flower to bring in spring because for real, I'm not trying to go to fall or winter. I hate winter time. I mean, fall's cool, but I hate winter, but spring sounds better. So to all my people, Ethiopian people, yo, happy New Year's. And um, as always, yo, one love. Happy New Year's. I got you. All right. What's up? What's up? Hey. Shalom. What up? Hi. Happy